Well, hey guys, how are you? Kevin here. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, today I wanted to show you in a bit of a microcosm how we put together uh, Interqual 2017. And a big part of Interqual is using the uh, demo, try me, and test me component of Articulate Storyline 2, which you see here. So I've got Articulate Storyline 2 open, and I've also got in my bottom tray PowerPoint open. So PowerPoint is going to be the program that we'll be recording and creating from. Of course, when we do Interqual, it's Care Enhanced Review Manager, but for the sake of the tutorial, it's going to do the same thing. So if we start over here and we're in Storyline 2, uh, what we want to do is we want to go to Insert Screen Record. And then we want to come here and go to Record Your Screen. And that's going to pull up our PowerPoint presentation so it knows we want to record whatever else is open. So we have a bounding box here that you can see. Uh, down below we can do full screen, which we normally don't want to do unless we really need to. Uh, viewability is always better if you can limit the size of your uh, recording area. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my bounding box here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, simply drag it to where I would need it. Let's see if I can get a good hold on that there. And we're just going to drag it to the area of the program that I want. So hopefully you can see this okay. But uh, we're going to grab most of it, but I do want to cut out a little bit of the stuff that I don't need. So this is uh, how we're going to do it. Down here you've also got your audio options. So right now um, if I was to record audio, I would be able to do that, but I'm actually using the audio feature to record this screencast. So you won't have that option, but let me show you some other ones here. So um, if we had a microphone here and I wasn't already using it to do the screencast, you could check that box and you would see your levels here and so on and so forth. So basically all we need to do is um, hit the red record button and it'll count me down and I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda of click around and we're gonna insert a text box and I'll write my name and then we'll ask them to insert a shape so on and so forth and we'll do insert another shape kind of a thing and then we'll do that and then when I'm done I'm just going to hit escape and it will save it now the thing that you're going to notice is when we save it we're going to see uh, Articulate is going to give us an option when I come back to Articulate here. And uh, we're going to be able to have some options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose video on a single slide for this one because for this particular one, we are going to say that we only want to demonstrate. And we can always come back and change that later. But let's do a single video that plays through that people just watch. We're going to show the mouse cursor. I'm not going to choose step by step because again we're not going to be having them interact with this particular one. So I'm going to insert it into a new scene and instead of video scene, um, I'll leave it as video but I want to come up here to name, this is the important one, and change it to something that matters so I'll call it PowerPoint Demo. So make sure that you give it a name that makes sense to you. And we'll hit insert and we'll put it into a new scene and there we go. This shouldn't take too long because I didn't do too many things. So this should actually process fairly quickly. It'll just take a moment. And um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to take your demonstration and then use the same one if you want, if you desire and turn it into a try me and then turn it into a scored test. 
So it's a very quick way to get all of these things accomplished in a very uh, short time without having to do a lot of re-recording, which is always key. Okay, so now we have our video here that's going to play just on this one slide, and I'll just go ahead and expand it to make it fill to my size. Okay, so this is all well and good. So now we have this video, on, as you can see, on a single slide. Um, but now we want to have them try to do what I just did with some help. So here's where we want to go to screen record, and you can see the one that's in use here if I click on that, I can come back and then turn this one into a step-by-step. -step. So instead of video on a single slide, I'm going to choose step-by-step. -step, and I'm going to choose try mode steps because I want them to try this. And we're going to put this into a new scene so we can keep it nice and uh, uh, organized for us. So we'll put it into a new scene, try mode. And I'll hit insert. And then this will just take a moment and then I will show you it's creating 15 separate slides um, because it collectively creates one slide for every action that we took. So we'll just wait for it to come on through. And then I will take you to story view and show you what that looks like in our story view. Okay, we're almost done here. All right, great. And so now, if I go to story view, you'll see we've got, this would be our didactic slides or our lead-in introduction. And then we have the video scene here, which is just a straight demonstration. Uh, could be with audio or without, doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. And then here at the try scene, this is all the individual slides that you see that we just created. So let's go back here now to our other view and you can see in the try scene, we have these boxes of the actions that I perform. So uh, that's going to be critical. If you look over here, you'll see that there's a hotspot and there's a hint caption. As I come over towards it, it'll actually give me a hint uh, to show me what I'm supposed to be doing. But I can always come in here as well and click on the hint caption and delete it if I don't want to give them a hint. So if I don't want that hint to pop up when they get close to where I need them to go, uh, there's all sorts of things you can do. And then you've got your try again, which you can customize. You can always put whatever uh, information in there you want, which is great. And then you've got your correct layer. So you can come in here and customize your response triggers any way you like. I know for Interqual in the past, we, uh, we have often gone ahead and removed the hint caption. Because as you can see here, when I show the hint caption, if your mouse gets too close to where you're supposed to go, it'll actually tell you to click on it. So you may or may not have, you know, want to have that depending on uh, your, your choices. So that is the, um, that's the try scene setup. And then what we can do if we go back to story view and I come back to the original, let's go ahead now and do part three. We'll go back to insert and record screen. And this time we will do step-by-step -step test mode in a new scene. Now the test mode is going to require that um, the, the data be sent to the LMS for how well they perform and then we can choose how we want to customize that. So let me insert that and this will be on another uh, scene altogether. And this will just take a moment to build out. Should just take a moment. There weren't too many things, so uh, should not be too, too long. And then once this is created, I'll show you the options for your test. So here we go. Okay, great. So uh, just like the try scene, you've got the individual hotspots, which can be uh, enlarged. They can be, you know, modified any which way you need to. 
But the uh, important part of the test is that if you go to the form view, this really acts like a regular quiz. So I want you to be aware here that your correct answer is the hotspot and you can customize everything right here and you can assign it points. So that's kind of the neat thing is depending on how many interactive things you have that you're testing on, you could set up the points to add up to 100 if you wanted. So if you were doing 20 things and you gave five points apiece for every uh, interaction they did right, you've got essentially a 100% test, if you will, but it's an interactive uh, component. So that's basically how you would set that up. And once again, you have try again or incorrect. But I want you to pay attention to up on the top here because this is the critical part. Um, there will be a result slide that's going to be created here, and I'll show you that in a moment. So uh, it knows that it's going to be tallying up your score. And we want to score by question attempts normally what we do guys is we give two attempts so that is you know normally our team standard is two um, I try to stick with that to give them two attempts so if they don't click on the right action they don't do the right thing the uh, they get some sort of a, uh, a trigger that will to help guide them and then we want to do your submission on click here so the result slide is 4.16. So now once we have all of our individual boxes set up to be two attempts, and I'm just showing you this again, but you need to come through each one here and then set up your assignment. So there's no action there, no action on this one. There's an action here. So I'm going to come here. Um, and do that let's go to two but anyways you get the idea so let's come down to the result slide and the result slide if we go to edit result slide is going to say okay um what do we want to judge this on now the text entry where i type my name i'm going to leave that out um, but i am going to make sure that they get tested and scored on all the hotspot activity that we're going to ask them to do. So you can see the check boxes right here. Um, our default passing is normally 85%, so I'm gonna go ahead and set that to 85%. There's no time limit on this, so I'm gonna not put any quiz ending time. And I'm gonna to come to options where I can show the user's score, I'm good with that. Show the passing score, I'm good with that. Allow them to review the quiz. And show correct incorrect responses when reviewing. Now this is interesting. If this is a certification or something you don't want those answers to be shown, you may or may not check it, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. I'm gonna uncheck, allow them to print the results. Um, and I probably do want to let them retry the quiz. So depending on what you want, all those options are right here, click okay. And there's where the button to retry the quiz would be. So if you wanted to give them two chances at the quiz, you could let them go through the entire thing twice, and that would be it. So anyways, guys, um, I mean, that's really kind of the nuts and bolts of how we go in and create interqual with doing a demonstration to show people the right way. And then we do a try scene, and then we do a test scene. So I hope that has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me directly and uh, happy to answer any questions that I can for you. I want to say thanks for joining today and we'll uh, hope to see you again next time.